Where's Lynn Mern? What the fuck is that dude's name? Where's Lynn Manuel Miranda on the question of Biden stepping down? What the fuck is wrong with people, people? How come so many people don't seem to understand that the best advocate for not just reproductive rights, but reproductive freedom, real reproductive freedom, is a black and brown woman in the prime of her life and not a halfway dead white man. The entire media is watching this shit. And I just showed my tits to the world. Well, you know what? We've all got tits, people. Call them pecs, call them tits, call them nipples. The only difference between men and women, aside from our chromosomes, a difference well, is it one or two, is our fucking hormones. We all have testosterone and we all have estrogen. It's just in different ratios. And the fucking United Kingdom, which remember left Europe. They're so stupid over there. These fucking insulated half-breeds, right? The fucking stupidos. Right? The big, smart kings and queens who thought it was smart to breed among themselves. No, that's how you go crazy, people. Just like Hunter Biden breeding or trying to with his ex, excuse me, his dead brother's wife. This is the world that Droolin' Joe Biden has created. Has this dude ever been to therapy? Bitter that Nancy Pelosi, one of Kamala's mentors? How the fuck did Biden keep the house in 2022 without Nancy's help? And everybody keeps talking about how Biden is the only one to beat Trump. Biden beat Trump when we couldn't leave our homes. Biden never ran a full campaign. It's impossible for him to run a full campaign. And as for Hillary losing in 2016, the United States and many of our institutions, including Facebook and the DNC, were hacked. I was getting my PhD people during this time. I have not forgotten a thing. And you see, I'm keeping my voice down. Let me return to the open thread. All my open wounds have healed. England, that stupid state that thinks it's united. Great Britain. Fuck that noise. They just outlawed gender-affirming medical and social and emotional and mental care for transgender youth. And what's worse, the barbarians over there want people who have been on gender-affirming confirming it doesn't make a difference words are made up trust me i work as a reading teacher and i have a phd in english and in an apartment in philly i know from pennsylvania i played 
in my curricular band growing up in fucking Scranton, Pennsylvania. It's like Dunder Mifflin territory out there. No offense, Rust Belt. I switched coasts. Never been better. Best coast? West Coast, for sure. Those barbarians, I say again, in the so-called United Kingdom. <sighs> They're now going to make people who have been on hormones come off them. They're going to forcibly deport people, quote unquote, back to the gender identities that they were assigned at birth, but which do not conform to their inner peace. That's the problem with the world, my friends. When you achieve inner peace, you just want to be fucking left alone. Right? So all these fucking agitators out there, Biden, KJP, AOC, Bernie, BB, these knuckleheads, these chumps, Baby, they're in the past already, right? They're just jumping for anything to stay afloat. But the Times, as that fucker J.K. Rowling recently quoted, the Times sure are a changing. <laughs> the generations that I work with, they want none of that bitch's world or that bastard's world. You see, they, like Shakespeare, my friends, and like Hamlet before me, both John Coltrane, born in Hamlet, North Carolina, and Hamlet, Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, I know when something's rotten. And this Biden, BB, special relationship and delusion, let alone Trump and fucking JD Vance. How do these people even see straight? Or do they? I mean, are they just completely checked out and medication? <laughs> or TV, or their egos. <sighs> you know, I've been waiting to take a shower all day long. I was busy doing an astrological chart for my colleagues. Gift giving is one of my love languages. So is giving compliments. People know I love to hear positive words. And I love to give positive words back. Lips together, teeth apart. Teeth together. Lips apart, but you gotta open your fucking mouth to speak, my friends. And now's the time to speak. Use your platforms wisely. And don't be taken in by any ruses of seduction or memory or otherwise. Imagine differently. Picture that and tell me more. Except I'm busy living my own damn life. And I encourage you to go get yours, my friends. Ay, ay, ay. You know, we're on the brink of extermination. Planetary extermination. If you don't believe me, just Google mass 
extinction crisis. <laughs> because this fucking political bullshit, that's just scratching the surface. We ain't seen nothing yet. <gasps> Ciao for now.